Alrighty, guys, we're back with Richie Rich. Because he hasn't put out none. I don't know if he had a heart attack and that car crash on time. Where you at? I mean, come on now. We know, I, I know where he's at. He's Hello, everybody, it's Connor. Rich 220. What are you doing? Look, I understand y'all are trying to help, but like I said, I'm not joking. I'm a freaking poor man, okay? You, I have a choice of black grease, red grease, or white grease for the connecting rod bearings. And they're all and if wrong. I do like you what, don't do uh, that, folks. Two-Max Garage said do that. to do, do wipe them clean and use plastic guard or whatever it is, then that's plastic one thing, gauge. okay? It would be better to These were running. The only reason why I had a knock to begin with was because the number three piston this, was up too high <laughs> when I had the heads off. And if yeah. you look at the video, you see that I mentioned that, okay? Yeah. I even works. said the number three piston is a little too high. Well, that's because it wasn't it wasn't okay. torqued down Can all the way. This or not? Talk? So then I tightened it down and I wound up having it crank to a point and then it started going slow. Well, that means okay. Let's 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 say Rich's theory is possible because it is it is theoretically 100 percent possible to have a rod too loose or a rod too tight. But let's talk about what happens when that happens. I mean, okay, your rod's loose, right? So, as you're cranking it over, that crank is slapping that bearing. It's slapping that bearing as it rolls over. Bang, 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 bang. You're damaging the bearing, period. Heaven forbid if it starts. Now, let's go the opposite direction. Let's say it's too tight. Back. Then it's squeezing the bearing, and he's saying it was so tight the motor didn't want to turn over. So, it would have damaged the bearing, man. It would have had to damage the bearing. When it's too tight, it can spin the bearing. I mean, he, he's an idiot. Rich, you are an idiot. You have no business working on the Listen, you're going to go into this video, Rich, and you're going to talk about how there's not nothing right. There is a correct way, a right way and a wrong way, and that's a fact. In mechanics, anything mechanics, whether 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 you're a welder, anything that has to do with, with blue-collar trades, anything like that, there is a way to do it and a way not to do it. There is books written on how to do it for a reason. And when it comes to connecting rods and shit like that that have to be torqued down precisely to whatever that, that has to be done a certain way. Period. There is no in room for interpretation. Nobody will ever disagree with what I'm saying. If you do, you're, you're nuts because they give you torque specs in a book for a reason. Uh, let's, let's play this. I mean, I was wondering, like, very good, probably two hours long. He's an idiot. I mean, He's an idiot. You can't just do it your it's way. It's too far, okay? So if I'm going to wipe the bearings down and wipe the caps down and wipe the journal down and everything else, I'm not going to put the bearing back in there unless it's got some kind of lubrication. Why? It's because I'm not going to have it scratch up the journal. You're an idiot. I'm not Listen, going to have it scar up the Listen, bearings. He's an idiot. Okay? Listen, you, you do you do that. You make sure it's cleaned out and you put plastic in here to check your clearances, man. You, as long as you do not spin your motor over with no lubricant in it, you can tighten them down as many times as you want and let them up. As many times as you want. As long as you do not spin that crank without any lube in there, it would have been fine. Common fucking sense, man. And I'm not going to have a massive problem on my hands. You've got you guys got to understand problem. there's more than one way that no. something can happen. No. And you have to be open minded. All you people are closed minded. Jesus Christ, man. It seems to me, Jesus. anyway. I mean, you go for the worst case scenario, and that's not the way it always is, us, okay? Because the video's like, yes. Now, there are three types of grease that you can use that, no. I, that I'm aware He's of. He's a anyway. fucking liar. White lithium you grease is, yeah, it's grease. supposed to be rebuilding lube and all that other jazz. Listen, you well, need oil to get in there. Listen, if you use grease, and it's going to... And then pistons in, huh? in, and new uh, uh, valves in, and stuff like that. That's rebuilding. Sorry, I want you guys to hear this, and then I'll pause the jazz talk. Well, what do you think putting new bearings in, in is, and new pistons in is, and new uh, uh, valves in, and stuff like that? That's rebuilding it, okay? So, in the event that you uh, need something to lube the bearings, you're not going to use red grease because it's just going to burn up. And you're not going to use black grease because that's just going to be dumb. It ain't going to last long. Last. The lithium grease has last. a longer stay time. Okay. Oh my God. So, putting that in there, and I'm not talking about lathering it on there. I'm just talking oh about 
enough of it on there so that way it doesn't Hang on, let's let it finish. get stuck or stop in a certain point or spin the bearing into the other half of the rock. All right, Dad. Listen, folks, when you're building an engine on the engine stand or in a car, you before the heads are on it, you when you put your bottom in together, you should be able to turn that crank easy. That that crank should basically spin by hand. You know what I mean? And with the rings, maybe not, but you you shouldn't have to be able to have to put a wrench on the end of it and, and lean on it to get it to spin. It should spin. Every time you put a bearing in the cap in, you're supposed to spin that shit and make sure it's good. You do your mains and you start with run rod go down. Anyway, you don't want to put any grease on it. Listen, you want when your engine fires up from a, from a, a rebuild, a, fre, a first start from a rebuild, you want whatever's in that fucking cap, in that shell, to move out of the way and the oil in there so you can get oil flow through your engine. If you put, listen, lithium grease, dude, the, the thing about lithium grease is he's right, it sticks. You don't want that. That grease would be getting into your oil galleys. It would be getting everywhere, dude. I mean... You just, you don't want that. You want your first start, you want everything to move. You want the oil to flow freely. That's why you use something like, fuck, use, if you, if you don't want to spend the money on, on assembly lube, molly lube, use STP. I mean, there's a reason for that. Because when you first start that up, you want your oil pressure to kick Help. right up and, and do what it's supposed to do. If it's a cake full of grease, it ain't going to move. Yeah. It's, and and, and, and then using nothing. It's going to take up clear. When you're talking about small clearances here, you're not talking about three hundred thousandths. Yeah, you're you're talking about hundreds of a thousandths of an inch. You don't want. How are you ever going to get a correct torque spec? I don't know, man. You're just, you're just. There is so much wrong with everything. The way that my auto auto my auto whatever the hell high school automotive class taught me was thousandths of an inch is the thickness of a hair of one strand of hair. You're talking about that minute of a clearance. Using regular oil, motor oil, is better than doing what Rich is talking yeah, about. Yeah, than using grease. Grease is not designed to do I'm, that. I'm not gonna lie. I, I've heard of some somebody said they use grease and they've had no problem. But but I'm telling you, I don't recommend it, and I wouldn't do it. If, if they've done it and it worked fine for them, so be it. But that is not the way to do it. You, lithium grease is more expensive than a tube of Molly lube, of assembly lube, of black. I mean, it's like ten bucks, man. I mean. And it'll build 20 fucking engines. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Use Lucas. I mean, Lucas would be better than that. I mean, here's my thing. On he's this. ignorant. He, he, Rich is truly ignorant. Barry, he's just an idiot. But Rich, he is truly ignorant, man, because. I want to say this, though. I'm going to give Rich the props here. At least in fucking six months and four years, we've actually seen Rich work on a car. Yeah, he I mean, may have fucked it up to high heavens, and right. made it totally wrong. Gave up missing information, everything like that. But at least he put pen to paper. Yeah, but you won't. He won't know more. I mean, I mean, I mean, did he fuck it up? Yeah. Did he miss a bit? Yeah. There but, is no open mindedness, Rich, when it comes to building an engine. There's a formula, and you need to follow that formula if you want your engine to be viable and last. And that's a fact. There's no room for open-mindedness. I mean, you're not open talking about you're not you're not talking about number nine wiring up your exhaust to make it work, or throwing a piece of rubber on your fuel line like you did. Yeah, there's open-mindedness there. I mean, dumb shit. I mean, you right next to your fucking exhaust. Oh, that's a genius move. But when it comes to building an engine or a transmission or putting a rear end together. Putting the center trapped in the rear end. There's a formula that you have to follow if you want it right and want it to last and want it to work. And obviously, I'm telling the truth, Rich, because what you did did not work. It's proof in itself. The car has no compression. The fucking valves are probably so far out of fucking whack on it, dude. I mean. But let's get back in this because we're just going to say some more misleading information that should not be spotted. And lock up my engine. I've had that happen before too. I had a 52 Plymouth that somebody threw away the number three connecting rod cap. And everybody was telling me, well, you got to replace the rod and the cap and the piston and everything else. I didn't listen to any of them. I put the connecting. You're a fucking idiot. Rich, and I'm about to spit some information. You got lucky. That's all. You're a fucking idiot. You know, rods are, even though it, even though your rod says 188455 or whatever the fuck. And I've never they're, seen a cap have a number on it, so... They're all 
No, Ma- they're no, all no. mates. You have a, a upper rod and then your, your rod cap. Those are mates. Those were the, cut, from the same, yeah. cut together. Exactly. Period. They're not designed. That's why if you mix up your rod caps, you need to have your rods resized. That's why you number them when you pull them out and shit. I mean, well, he, he's probably reasons. right. I mean, I don't doubt that Rich is telling the truth in this. I don't doubt. Because let, let's talk about something like a quad or a dirt bike or some, some, a lawnmower. They say you're not supposed to mismatch case halves because they're made to cut together. together. And, I, and I, I mismatch them all the time, but that's a little different, man, than, uh, than, than what I would do for a motor if it cost a whole ton of money. You know what I mean? You, you'll never catch me doing that. Yeah. Like that. I mean, I mean, that's what's up with my Buick motor, man. When we took it apart, I, I did not realize that Buick parts were my nice Chevy parts. So when we took the motherfucker apart, we just I threw the cap because I was going to get new rods for it and shit. I threw the caps in a bucket and <laughs> just pulled the rods out. And now they're all mismatched shit up. So now I, I either have, have to, re-cut, re-cut, yeah, re-cut I have to have them either resize to build the engine or find another 350 and pull the rods out of them. Yeah. Which we'll get on that this spring or something. But I don't want to just put it back together a stock 350 in the car. I don't. I don't want that. I want to at least put it to cap on with a new set of batteries, and I torqued it down to specifications. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because there's a casting number on it, and the casting number that was on the cap and the rod that I got that was second hand from a friend of mine that bought it, and I bought it off of him. It was the same freaking casting number. What is that? What, Rich, what? Listen, so, man. I took Everything a chance. Would have the same That's the same thing with this car. Everything I've done so far is taking a one. chance. You know, I'm learning as I go along. For I don't example, know it all either, but you know small what? Small block Chevys. You there are some things I don't have here. And I have to make do with what I have or what I got. That does not mean that every 0100 block is a 350, a 327, a 305. Just because it says 0100, there's more factors to look at than that. That just means that that's the casting of that block. That they, of that run that they made. But they made them 0100 blocks for fucking years, man. I mean, years. So, they're not all cast the same. They're not all cut the same. Just because they have the same casting number don't mean they're identical. You got away so with that. I appreciate everybody's help. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't have a garage. Because I've had cases on the I'm laying down three, on a piece of three, galvanized three. steel with a cardboard box on top of it. We'll lay down at cardboard. age 54. Right, I lay okay? down in the mud. And over 300 I mean, pounds. I'm out so, here welding you know, underneath this fucking model. He's up a little In the dirt, basically. You know? That's damp. I Man, understand you're trying to help me and all that. That's all well and good. I understand that completely. I'm not knocking anybody for it. But at the same time, Rich, I have a limited access of stuff Just in case, that I can use. Okay? Which I, and I, I have to make do with what I have. Not, this whole video is, is telling these people to shut okay. the fuck up and leave them alone. That's, Folks, that's what you're thank saying, you again. Rich. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate all the help. But like I said, there's nothing I can do One about thing, it. I don't have the kind of stuff that everybody has in a garage. You can't take criticism. I don't even have a, a You cannot take plug-in tire I changer, I have to do a manual one, so, and that's on my deck. All my but you're both only five deck. foot fucking tall, so, so my sandblast I don't know, so what do you so my, my clean sink. Because I know plenty of short people that don't have the same That's all I have, other than that, I have a compressor and a, a couple of air ratchet tools and uh, a compressor and a couple of presses, that's it. I guarantee that all I got left is that that's fucking house. That's all I have. That's and why the, he didn't uh, show you the deck and shit, because all the engine hoist is only good for pulling the engine out. But I don't have nothing to put the engine on. I, I don't have an engine stand. Engine got left there and everything. I promise you. You know? Which half my tools or something. I don't go by. Hey, Rich, do you got a fucking driveway? Because you don't need an engine stand. You could rebuild that in your driveway. Right. A hundred percent. You can rebuild it on the ground, dude. Until, until, I don't know, probably until 2011. When did we leave Western Hope? I got my first engine stand right before we left Western Hope. 10. 2010. Until 2010, I never even had an engine stand. And I reveal Jeep motor, t- countless motors, dude, on the ground. I mean, oh, on a piece of cardboard or a piece of plywood. They don't really work anymore. And the torque wrenches that I bought, well, they don't have the flexibility that the one that uh, the mechanic had in the garage. So, like I said, I have to make do with flexible. what I have. Oh, you mean the one that you and, said you, you set know, like and said, left set for a month? I understand that. So now you know, it's that's, a different way. That's not the way people do things or whatever have you. Okay. 
But the fact of the matter is, is if the two hacks is telling me to dry out the bearings and dry out the rods or wipe them down or whatever, you know, he was listen, trying to help you, man. Listen, it almost says, I don't know the man. I watch his channel, and I would trust everything that man says. Goddamn right, I would. I mean, not gonna put them in dry. It, it just not. It wouldn't make any sense. What do you mean? And if it's that's loose the, again, that's what the I don't want the other half of the bearing rich? spinning up and. So you, you mean act to like tell you're me, final assembling this? Listen, thing. you mean to tell me that that, that plastic gauge and 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 co companies like Chrysler and Chevy, they like put this this product out here to use, and it's a tried and true product, been around for many many years. In fact, if you go into a parts store these days and ask for it, they want, man, I went to Auto Glass and plastic gauge, dude, and they wanted to know car make and model, dude. Uh, I mean, I don't know, that's a whole other story. Anyway, so they put this shit out here, and they tell you to do it. A, B, C, D. And it's going to tear your motor up because they don't know what they're talking about? You know what I'd like to see Rich do? I mean... Wait. Would that have a thrust bearing in it? That 283? He didn't, he didn't pull the main bearings off, the, off that motor. Or that would be a whole other story. I was going to say... He only did rods. But yeah, yeah, see, I can't every, every motor has a thrust so, bearing. Yeah, I was thinking, if it had a thrust bearing, how the fuck did he set And he did that. How the fuck would you set that in the, within the uh, car? Uh, uh, with a, I guess with a screwdriver and a prayer. And a prayer. Uh, with a pry bar and a prayer. Rock that crank hard forwards and then rock it back hard backwards and forwards and backwards do it about six times. Right? Okay, I don't know. My, 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 my thoughts are wrong because I, I confused rods as rods. I'm, I'm out of it. I'm not thinking about that. I mean, he didn't, he didn't, Long he day. He didn't do the main bearings. So, so it's, it was stress was to already the other stuck. half of the bearing and locking up my engine. Okay, so that's where I'm getting at. You're not supposed to start it, All right, folks, You're not supposed to I'm sorry, easy. but that's just the way it's got to be. i got to do it this way. I don't have any other way of doing it. I don't have no help here. I have nobody, you know, to give me a hand. I so have a son, but most of the time I can just shoot him off. Right, or one, or he's whining here. So I want to say this. My final thoughts on this is, for one, Rich has got to put out message. Look, if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, don't get on your trying to tell people to, you know, shut the fuck up. Listen. That's what got you in this whole mess. Listen. And this is well, straight up, the straight up truth, dude. I learn something new every fucking day or try to because the day you stop learning is the day you die. But, I don't know everything. I don't even know half of everything. But here's the deal, Rich. There are plenty of people that are smarter than me. Everything you fucking said here is wrong. Yeah. And another thing, Rich, just so you know for your future fucking 283 engine build, that won't, won't happen, but if it does, you put a rod in, you spin your engine. You put a rod in, you spin your engine. Torque it. You, you put it in, torque it, spin your engine. That way, if... If which you can put if, listen guys you can put them all in and then torque them all down that that's fine but if there's a problem and you do that let's say you put them all in and torque everything down go spin your engine won't turn it, it's like I mean okay with that what I just said here it'd be like wiring your car with all one one color wire it's it's you could do it but it's not the right way to do it right because troubleshooting something that has all red wire in the dash is kind of a bitch unless you labeled it that's just how we know <laughs> that Model T up there was right. was. It was all, all one red wire. wire. Had one blue wire. That was it. So, with that being said, hope all you guys are having a great Tuesday, Wednesday. This we put out Wednesday, but hope y'all are having a great day. Fucking see you guys tomorrow or the next day. I don't know when I'll get it. We're kind of sporadic right now um, with editing and stuff. Because asked that the other night, I was up to what two, three o'clock in the morning editing. Because that takes a lot of time. And like people like barriers that don't edit don't know how much time that takes because I like to edit these down, especially if you're gonna put like like barriers. I have to put the hit the shit he's done at the beginning and, and clip the videos together because you know this camera stops recording at a certain point. I gotta figure out how to get the time to, to up on that. But new camera, new things. Anyways, I'm gonna get to editing. Check out all our friends, Mako, Fast Thing, Lipstick Garage, Rich. Don't be a racist. Don't say anything else. When are you gonna get the house? Let us know. Bye bye, Bubba. Move that car yet? Yeah, you got the car moved yet?